Jesus and said when Jesus started his ministry it wasn't the disciples but the Pharisees that started to criticize him it was his very brethren can I talk to somebody and so David's brother said we know your heart boy you're full of pride you come up here seeking to come show off yourself can I tell somebody that they show off means they never be the God when they're ready to show off can I talk to somebody we have to understand this that in this life we can escape people people of our part of our existence people of our part of our lives and if you don't want to encounter anybody well let me give you some advice until the Lord comes there is a place in Nevada which is called NASA it is a space station and they specialize in going to the moon and going around in space if you don't want to encounter nobody let me advise you go down to NASA tell them you need a spaceship you need one tomorrow because you need to live on the moon and you need to stay on the moon until Jesus comes but as long as you remain on this earth you are going to encounter a bad man co-worker as long as you remain in this earth you are going to encounter a loved one who you feel like you just can't be in as long as you remain in this earth there are going to be people that are going to be against you and here's the worst part not everyone who's against you are going to be those that are going to be from the outside can I tell somebody if you're walking on the street and a man you don't know call you ugly it don't matter you as much as less as somebody who you love as somebody who the words matter can I talk to the church and show now we have got to get to the place where we realize that I'm not who somebody said that I am I'm who God made me to be and everything about me is what God made and I'm blessing God for who I am oh God can I tell somebody I am a I am holy. I am sure. I've been called forth to show forth the praises of him who called me. Somebody open their mouth and begin to give God some praise. Yes! I thought that Moses said the right thing. Because for me to say, same thing what I want to do. God wipe me out. Or better people remain. God take me away. Me don't want no God to me people then. Until I realized the other night the Lord showed me. That when it comes to being a child of God, you cannot take this thing personal. When you take it personal, is when whatever happens is going to offend you. And when it offends you, it is going to affect how you walk, talk, or affect what you do. So Moses said, God, don't destroy them. Let them remain. But can I bring you? A few weeks later, now God can I talk to you. Moses stood up for these people. God wanted to kill them because God knew who they were. God knew everything about them. But Moses chose to stand up for Israel. He was willing to die in order for them to live. And a few weeks later, he found out the children of Israel. They wanted water. Can I talk to somebody? They were thirsty and they needed to drink. And they could not get any water to drink. And God said to Moses, Moses, speak to 
the rock. Can I, can, can I talk to somebody? He told Moses to strike the rock first and Moses struck the rock. But then he told Moses to speak to the rock. But then because of the attitude of the children of Israel, can I talk to you about people? He, because of their attitude, Moses got upset. Moses got angry. And the Bible said instead of speaking to the rock, Moses strike the rock and say drink ye rebels can I talk to somebody they got Moses to the point of frustration that God gave Moses a word but Moses was so frustrated that Moses disappeared the word of almighty God and as a result of that can I tell somebody there is a consequence to disappear God's word God is not partial God no care who you be a good bishop apostle or whatever I call them nowadays archbishop can I talk to somebody what God say our God say and Moses disappeared God's word watch this now a few weeks ago Moses was willing to die for the children of Israel but look at this now it was the very same people that caused Moses to disappear the word of God when Moses disappeared the word of God God told Moses Moses you shall not enter I know therefore baptize thee in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you too shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost not many days in introduce you at this time we have this young man he has been visiting with us I think maybe from last week or, or so and he has made a decision to give his life to the Lord and we are truly thankful to the Lord for him. Amen. So this time I ask that you welcome the new the new brother Jason Black. Put your hands together for him. I just want to welcome this come right over here. Let's go right over here from here. Come on, you know what to do. Praise God. Just let me feel welcome. 